Hey everybody, this is Tommy within a Disney State of Mind. Today we are at Wilderness Lodge. We are gonna stop and eat at Whispering Canyon Cafe. We've had dinner here and absolutely loved it. And so today we're gonna have lunch. The lunch is more of a brunch style. They have some lunch offerings, have some breakfast offerings. And so we're gonna probably get a decent combination of those. And so we're excited about taking you guys along with us as we go to Whispering Canyon Cafe for lunch for the very first time here in Walt Disney's Wilderness Lodge. I was literally about to say that brunch is not as lively as dinner, and it's still not. Uh, but someone just came out and sang happy birthday to someone, brought him a cupcake, and after she gave her the cupcake, the, the waitress picked it back up, took a giant bite, <laughs> took a giant bite out of the cupcake. And so, congratulations! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, thing one and thing, thing two. Happy birthday. <laughs> she took their cupcake and it's eating their cupcake. That is fantastic. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> So we decided that we would get the breakfast skillet. You can get the carnivore still here at lunch, but it's not my favorite. I love the pig. Um, I'll actually link the description of the dinner video that we had here down in the description uh, so that you guys can see the dinner video and kind of see the difference. Uh, they have really, really, really good piggy wings here, smoked pork sausage, and also I like their sweet cornbread, which is weird because I don't like sweet cornbread. So this uh, morning, or well, it's afternoon, it's two, we're having brunch. Uh, we did go with the breakfast, but the kids did get the chicken tenders, and so we're going to have kind of a hodgepodge of breakfast and lunch here um, at our brunch, but Denise and I are going to stick predominantly with the breakfast. I'm really excited about trying their biscuits with salt milk gravy because it's one of my favorites, and so we'll see as this comes out what it's like and also we'll see if the entertainment gets any livelier here at brunch they brought out some butter and some syrup and then right here some mixed fruit looks like it's got some blackberries and some other stuff in it i'm assuming that all of this is for those amazing mickey waffles that are going to come out on the skillet there we go you got this okay on the count of three one two three you we win, win. We need ketchup, ketchup. Alright, other than the ketchup, is there anything else you all need? You better make sure you eat it. Do a little ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Alright, you guys know what this means? Yep. Next time. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about the breakfast. Um, we've got biscuits and gravy, some potatoes there, sausage eggs, Mickey waffles, all that good stuff. Brie sporting the strawberry milkshake already getting in it they will do substitutions um, Denise got a egg white and spinach frittata with her meal instead of the scrambled eggs which I got so they don't mind substitutions but they won't do additions I wanted some of the cornbread too and they said that I could sub it for something but I was not willing to sub for any of this try some of this biscuits and gravy I really like biscuits and gravy, um, and this is actually really good. This is not the same gravy that they have over at Hollywood and Vine. Um, if you guys watched that video, um, I'll link it down in the description. But if you watched it, you remembered me saying how incredibly salty the gravy was. Oh man, now we gotta take people catch up, hang on. Taking the ketchup. You're welcome. So remember, it is your responsibility if someone yells ketchup and you have it to take them all of the ketchup. Like that's your job. And you try some of these scrambled eggs. I know that sometimes in Disney, the eggs are extra, 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 extra runny. Um, these actually are like kind of firm. They actually have a little bit of body to them. They will hold on a fork. I just like Disney eggs. I mean, they're fine. Um, next, pork linked sausage. So 
it's obviously a, a breakfast sausage. Um, not like the other stuff, but it's fine. It's good. say something I've never ever ever said about a Mickey waffle it's not perfect or a little over time I mean, it's still a Mickey waffle but yeah I've had better okay we're finishing up here at Whispering Canyon for me it was a good breakfast I uh, it, it was fine it was Mickey waffles and it was sausage and it was bacon and it was all of those things and so it's a great breakfast if you want one for me though because last time i came the, the food was really really good but for me the environment is why i had in my mind i've got to come back to whispering canyon and the environment for brunch is not the same as environment as it is for dinner and so if you have the choice of the two uh, again the breakfast is great if you need breakfast come here and get it it, it tastes really good but as far as the Whispering Canyon experience for me, it's just not the same. It was fun in the evening, they were singing, everybody was laughing, it was loud, it was super high energy. And so if you want to come to Whispering Canyon for the experience, make sure that you come for supper, not for brunch. But if you just want a good brunch, this is a really good option. Uh, for me, the best thing on my skillet was the biscuit and gravy, but I love biscuit and gravy, and so there's that. My Mickey waffles were overcooked. And I'm saying that again for the first time. I usually love them no matter what. And so for me, food-wise, it was good. I mean, it's, it was a good breakfast, but it was not what you experienced at dinner. All right, so what do you think about Whispering Canyon for brunch? Uh, I think I'm kind of like you. I enjoy dinner more because of the atmosphere. Um, it's a little more lively at dinner during brunch. I think maybe part of the problem is that there's just not as many people at this time of the day. We came later. Um, so if you're finishing up, you guys want more? I think we're good. Yeah. I think we're good. Did you want some more milkshake or are you good? Or more ranch. <laughs> Get a big old cup of ranch to go. <laughs> Put a straw in it. Strawberry flavor. Strawberry. Okay. All right. Um, but <laughs> I think that part of the problem with the atmosphere again is that it's we came at 150. That was the last reservation we could get for the day um, before they start shutting down and getting ready for dinner. So I think that that has a lot to do with it. Just not as many people here. Um, not as much really going on. But as far as the food goes, again, I really love the biscuits. They're like cheddar biscuits. That gravy was really, really good. Whatever this compote is of different um, fruits, it's actually really good on the biscuits too. Definitely give that a try as well. Um, bacon was really good. Potatoes, yeah, they seem like they're a little underdone. Um, Mickey waffles, again, I think mine are a little overcooked as well. But overall, I, I still enjoyed it. So. Cambry and the world of chicken tenders. You've had these before. <laughs> were, they, were they still good? And the shake, still good. So for you, it really doesn't matter what meal you come here, you're gonna get the same thing. Did you enjoy it again? Was it? I, I got that again on um, dinner. Just because it's more fun? All right, see, what do you think about brunch here? Um, I mean, I thought it was okay. I, I did like the biscuits, I tried some of those. I tried the waffles and the potatoes and I agree with both of y'all. The waffles were a little bit overdone, the potatoes were underdone. The chicken here is not as good as it is at other places, but I mean, I really like being at Wilderness Lodge and so it's nice experience. So with that, we are through with brunch at Whispering Canyon Cafe. So if you guys get a chance, uh, you're looking for somewhere good to have a brunch, have a breakfast, this is a good place. But again, if you're coming for the Whispering Canyon experience, make sure that you do this for supper instead. If you guys see us in the parks, make sure that you stop by and say, hey, we would love to meet you. But until then, remember to keep living in a Disney state of mind. Bye, Bye guys.